Welcome to Power Talk Radio, where you can listen and learn from celebrities, icons, and everyday hardworking women. Their stories will empower and motivate you to be the best you can be. Our host, Tonya DeCosimo, is the founder of Power, professional organization of women of excellence recognized, and editor-in-chief of Power magazine. She is also an author, columnist, and has worked successfully for 30 years in the advertising and publishing industry. Welcome to today's program. Here's Tonya. Hello, everyone. I'm Tonya DeCosimo, and welcome to another episode of Power Talk Radio. Boy, oh boy, each guest I have, I get more and more excited because these are just empowering women who have so much to share. Now, growing businesses and building wealth are skills many of us do hope to achieve. And a serial entrepreneur and a money magnet will teach us how to take risks and how to create more income. My guest today is a serial entrepreneur. Her name is Annetta Powell, and Annetta overcame hardships to become a published author, a well-known speaker, and yes, a serial entrepreneur. She created a special network called The Wealth Connect to help thousands of people master entrepreneurship and build wealth at the same time. Annetta began purchasing, renovating, and selling real estate and has since sold more than 600 properties, totaling $50 million in sales through her real estate empire, Infinity Properties Group. After the real estate market crashed in 2009, Annetta learned that she had to diversify her income by developing a rental portfolio owning five tax franchises, a party bus, and a luxury limousine company. Wow, that's a mouthful. How are you, serial I'm entrepreneur? Doing, I'm doing amazing. I cannot complain. I am doing super amazing. Awesome. I'm so thrilled to have you here. So you're a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I love that term. Um, and you've created financial freedom for yourself. You've had many hardships, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But tell us how you learned that true wealth comes from diversifying and what exactly diversifying means. Um, true, you know, I finally um, learned the terminology of diversifying is when, of course, uh, before I became a real estate investor, I used to work at Johnson Controls making 40000 a year. As you know, the real estate market crashed in 2009, 2010. And of course my money crashed, but prior to that, you just couldn't talk to me about anything. And that's when, you know, home hit. It was like, I was having a really hard time trying to get back into the real estate game or, you know, transitioning. And I knew at that point when my money crashed, I said, you know what? I don't never want to be in a situation like this. So that's when I took the time to diversify and, you know, I started the tax preparation business. And of course I started, um, you know, uh, a party bus company. But at that time I realized that, you know what? Diversification is important as well as branding yourself. Yeah, branding's huge as well. Yeah. But now, so what made you decide to purchase that first piece of real estate and then renovate it and then sell it to make profit? Like, how did that just come to you? You know what, I was working, making like, 40,000 a year. I can remember my checks were like 840 after taxes. I probably get about six to $700. And, you know, I just had enough to pay my bills. And I was like, you know what? I got to do something different. So I met this guy. Um, his name was Neil Preston. And um, he used to talk about real estate to me. And then, of course, you know, I had a ex-boyfriend that I met. And, you know, I learned that you meet pe people for a reason in a season. So he introduced me to a guy that really like fronted me houses. So at that point, you know, while I was working, like I said, I realized that you could never become a millionaire working for someone else. And then I branched out, purchased my first property. My, I, my mother, two things happened. My mother actually loaned me the money. She refinanced her house. She okay. was supposed to use that house to buy a property, but she let me use that money. And then two, um, I met a guy at the same time that had like, a, you know, inventory of houses. So he would pretty much say, okay, here's the, the house. I would, he would sell it to me, for example, 30,000. I sell it for 80. 
And he was so trustworthy. He literally would give me the difference of what I made back. Wow. And, you know, that just realizing that, you know, you cannot become a millionaire working for someone else. And I just wanted more. I did not want to live average and I needed to do something about it. Good for you. Good for you. So you overcame a lot of adversities such as prison, uh, going broke, like you said. So, you know, to stream out some, some people, you know, they go through certain things in their life and then they're afraid to take a risk, but you weren't afraid to take that risk. So what, what can you say to people that are afraid to take a risk, don't want to diversify, just want to keep their money in, in the bank safe? What would you say to those people? I would say to them, one, you have to take calculated risk. You can't just take a risk. You have to say, for example, if you're talking to somebody that's a full-time employee and they want to venture off into something, I would highly recommend that whatever they're trying to venture off into, they mm -hmm. do it part-time, take a calculated risk, see what it's going to cost them. Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, you maintain that business. And then once you have six months of actual, you know, money to pay your bills or and then, you know, you can, once you have the money, now you can venture off. A lot of times people want to become entrepreneurs. They want to jump out there and yeah. not have any money. And then now they're trying to live off the income. That's enough just to pay the overhead for your bills. And you look up and mm -hmm. it becomes a disaster, you mm -hmm. know? So my thing for them, me, I'm sorry for them is to actually, you know, like I said, take calculated risk. Don't go out there trying to just spend all this money to start up a business. Like, for example, don't go get a building when you could just set up a home office within your home and work from there. Build everything out before you try to step out, you know, in a bigger arena. Right. Now, due to the pandemic, um, you know, a lot of people have lost their job. Uh, they don't know what they're going to do tomorrow. And they're saying to themselves, you know, I do have a good idea for a business, but I don't have the funds right now. I mean, aren't there still ways to, you know, take out a loan? There, there's different ways to start a business. I mean, you know, borrowing from a bank, especially women today, you can do that. Would you suggest that? I do suggest that, but let's 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 go to the reality of things. Mm. Is your credit good? Right. And if, if it's not, the first thing you need to do is work on your credit. A lot mm -hmm. of times people, you know, they don't, you know, really look at the reality of their situation. So right. at the end of the day, you can start a business, but you have to say to yourself, you know, where is my credit score at? And the first thing you need to do is work on your credit score. Once you work on your credit score, then you can get a line of credit or whatever the case, personal line of credit, mm -hmm. or you can take money off your credit cards. It's different options. But if your credit is not right, who's going to loan you some money? True. You say people don't think about that. You no, have they don't. To, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of person that just, you know, run, you know, bluff of people, you know, but at the end of the day, the reality is you have to be together, right. you know, and of course the pandemic has crashed and some people credit probably got messed up or whatever the case may be, but you uh -huh. got to be able to re regroup. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah. How can Wealth Connect Network help people build their wealth? How can you help people build their the wealth? The first thing I concentrate is on entrepreneurship, okay? Entrepreneurship is a responsibility. Uh -huh. You know, if you really want to scale and take your business to the next level, that's what we teach people to do. The three areas that I concentrate on that has worked for me, because I concentrate on actual um, industries that's worked for me, where I know someone can build wealth is real estate, mm -hmm. the tax preparation business, and I specialize in showing people how to brand their stuff. Or if you have a business, how can I take that business to get the exposure that I need to scale? So those are the things that I concentrate on in the Wealth Connect. And a lot of times people don't know what it takes to be mm -hmm. an entrepreneur. You know, you really, if you were an entrepreneur and you're running a business by yourself and you physically have to be in a business, you still work for somebody. But I teach people, no, how to step out, you right. know, and have employees. Don't be scared to hire people because in order for you to actually get to a millionaire status, 
you have to create a team. You can't do it by yourself. It's, it's so true. That's, yeah, that's, you can't. That's well put. I teach people the correct way to be an entrepreneur. And that's what the Wealth Connect do. Mm -hmm. Well, you are an amazing and an inspiring woman. What motivates you? What motivates me? Uh, people is not going to want to hear this. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Money. You know, at the end of the day, money actually motivates me. But a lot of times people say money don't motivate them. Why? Because they're uneducated when it comes to finances. Okay. They don't take the time to really look at their money, evaluate it, you know, but you have to also be passionate about what you do. So I love real estate. I love to see a, a house transition from an ugly home to a beautiful, beautiful home. I'm inspired. I'm motivated. I love to see, you know, my tax preparation business every year. I see, you know, low to moderate income people come in, they get a great refund and it feels good to be able to talk to them and tell them what should they, you know, take their money to try to invest in. They should save it, you know, just, you know, being an inspiration to them. And I love teaching people. So I have an online platform um, that I just launched this year, which is called the Wealth Connect Inner Circle. And so at the end of the day, I teach this too. In order for you to make a lot of money, you have to have high skill set. If you don't have skill set, you cannot get to that next level. People don't understand that. The reason why you struggle is why you don't have skill set. You're mm -hmm. making bad decisions. But if you learn the skill set or the industry that you in, you dominate it. You can make a lot of money. But you have to have some a mentor. You know, like I tell people, don't yeah. follow everybody. Mm -hmm. Follow the top three people that's in the industry that you want to be in to learn how to dominate it and spend the money to invest, to read their book, the audios, attend a seminar, but you mm -hmm. need skill set. You don't got no skill set or no high level skill set. You'll never become a millionaire. And you have to be passionate about what you do. I mean, you can tell how passionate you are. And you said that people aren't going to like that money motivates you. Well, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. You know, um, you're a motivated person, you had hardship in your life, and you had a choice. Your choice was, I can sit here, feel sorry for myself and do nothing, or I can make something of myself, make money, pass my knowledge on to other people, mentor others, and that's what you're doing. And more people need to think that, you know, they can't be lazy, they can't feel sorry for themselves, they've got to just do it. And, and, and you are proof of that. And that's a beautiful thing. Yes. No excuses. You cannot have no excuses. <laughs> you can't compromise when you're trying to get to that next level. That's right. So Annette, if people want to uh, learn more about the Wealth Connects Network, where can they find you? They can go to either AnnettaPyle.com or they can go to the WealthConnect.com to, you know, learn more about the Wealth Connect. That's wonderful. Now, yeah. You are an empowering woman, an inspiring woman, a mentor, a serial entrepreneur, the list goes on. So with that being said, to me, you are a woman of power. What does the word power mean to you? Power means to me being able to take charge of your life, to dominate, you know, at what you do, to not, you know, settle for living average. That's what power means to me. You can conquer anything you want as long as you put the skill sets, the tools, and you know you have a team behind you to make you powerful. And at the end of the day, showing people that you care, meaning you know, un, you know, rewarding them and letting them know that without you, there's no me. That's right. No I in team, right? No, <laughs> no. Yeah, you do. You need a good team behind you. And I, and I just want to say, you know, again, with the pandemic, there's so many people that lost their jobs. They can't find a job. But then there are people that are just turning to unemployment. And, and I know, you know, some people might get mad at me for this, but they really don't need to. You know, they they can go out there. They can find a job. They can start a business. They can do something. And I feel like sometimes people just are a little lazy and they want to lean back and, okay, you know, I'll just collect the unemployment. If you need it, that's one thing. If you don't, take that step. Yes, I'm 100%. You know, really, the unemployment, from what I've seen, it has made the United States lazy. 
Like okay. now, you know, I've been trying to hire people and everything. It, it's like a crutch. People don't even want to go back to work. Yes. You know, they're relying on this income. And then, you know, it's a lot of people working from home. When it's time to go to work, you probably heard this. People quit. They don't yes. want to go back into the office. So you're right. You don't need unemployment, but you got to make that decision to yeah. say, you know what, I'm going to get out here. You got to put the work in and say, let me, you know, have a goal. Let me put out 20 resumes, you know, a day until I get what I want. And sometimes we have to do things that we don't want to do to get to where we want to go. <laughs> That's so perfect. That's yeah. so well put. Yep. Yeah. You may not want that job, you know, yeah. that you actually obtain or you get hired for, but it's, it's going to work for now. But yeah. then you work on you. Yeah. It makes you feel so much better getting up, going to work knowing that you're making money, knowing that you put your all into it and you're getting something in return. That right? is correct. Yes. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, you're amazing and keep doing what you're doing. Keep up the great work. I really appreciate your knowledge, your advice, your tips. And um, we can't wait to have you in Power Magazine because you are a woman of power. Thank you so much. And I look forward to being, you know, part of your community. So make sure you send me that information. You got it. Thanks, Annetta Powell. Take okay, care for now. Okay. Have a good day. Bye now. Bye. Thank you for listening to Power Talk Radio. We hope you were inspired by our show today and look forward to our next episode featuring another empowering woman. To learn more about being part of power, go to powerwo.com. That's www.powerwoe.com and follow us on social media.